up guys, it is the Cornish Gamer and welcome back to my Civilization 5 Brave New World playthrough or let's play whatever whatever you want to call it as the Netherlands. As we always do, we always check the demographics uh, demographics at the beginning of each episode. As you can see, manufacturing goes in GNP, we are top. I want to be staying on top on GNP due to the fact that Netherlands really are a maritime sort of naval money sieve. Uh, literacy we're a bit behind, however we are getting we but I believe we're gonna be getting National College soon. Um, soldiers, we sort of need to worry about Aztecs, not so much Siam. They usually Siam are so annoying in this game, however, generally at the moment they're being relatively nice. I remember our city wasn't growing too well, so we are getting the Hanging Gardens. Um, any promotions available? No, we just settled down in Rotterdam, because we didn't get a coastal spawn as freaking Netherlands, which is great. Now the question is, oh, I was thinking about settling there, I was just going to say, well, why don't we settle that? But I don't know, it's always city-state. <sighs> so many city-states around. Um, say you want auto, I really don't care, to be honest. I mean, he's probably going to die, but oh well. Alright, so I, I, think I, I think I forgot to put on the UI mod last episode, so if I did, then I've got it now. Um, I suppose it's just a waiting game until we get Hanging Gardens. I am worried about the Aztecs, though. They're not very close, however, I reckon the Aztecs might go for Siam. I mean, of course, it's the wrong king, the AI will be slightly more aggressive. So I've quite, so I kind of got to watch out for that. Um, we're going to be getting lots of sugar to trade soon, which is great. Any resources? Siam have two dies. So, yeah. Ah, wait, wait until we get some sugar. They should be done relatively soon. Oh, we're going to be earning loads of money from that. Um, I, we need to be sure to grow Rotterdam as much as possible and get production up. At the moment, it's not really much of a production city. I mean, we will grow onto these few tiles here to get its production up, but at the moment, its production is pretty crap. Alright, let's go for Wonder Production. Yeah, that'd be useful for Hanging Gardens. But yeah, we really want to grow and develop Rotterdam a lot, because that's going to be like our naval base. And... Of course, we, we're going to be churning out ships. So, we, and they're dead. Oh well. But we need to make sure that Rotterdam is quite strong as a city. Okay, Golden Age is ended, but we're still earning plus, plus 30 gold per turn. A lot more than everyone else. Alright, how long are you going to take? One turn, one turn. Alright. <sighs> Um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll use the gold. We can trade the other, we, we always have, yeah. Alright, have a trade. We want to keep our happiness up as well. We might be able to get a few golden, actually we might want to get Chichen, oh, hello. I hope he's not near me. Simply because, bit of a land grabber, really. Alright, except Embassy. Ah, as I said, there probably is a Civ in Europe. Also, the reason- Ah, and as I predicted, Montezuma's declared war on Siam, so we're gonna have to watch ourselves. Um, did they have any luxuries to trade? Wait, did they have any luxuries to trade? Not really. Alright. Rotterdam's growing nicely, we got all the sugar worked. Apart from that one there, but that'll be done soon. The city might be able to grab the incense, yeah it will actually. And it should be able to grab the citrus. Alright. We want to build the National College soon. We'll go for masonry, because we haven't freaking got that yet. Alright. Um, we want to actually work on a settler relatively soon. I always aim to get three, three cities up around turn 100. See, I would settle there. However, well, it's in the desert, first of all. And second of all, I'm sort of worried that if Montezuma does take down the Siamese, then... If they're gonna right at war with, oh the Swedish have declared one of them as well. I I'm afraid if we settle there, then the Aztecs will move on to us, because chances are the Aztecs probably will go for a domination for obvious reasons. Oh, I thought we got beaten in the Hanging Gardens. Then I would have been so pissed off. They fought for tradition though, which is a bit weird for the Aztecs. Right, next time we should be guessing. Hanging Gardens, if you don't get beat. Deprecation by Siam. Yeah, I don't really think you need to worry about protecting Malacca at the moment. Don't want you to deny Sweden. Eh. Nah. Alright. Hanging Gardens, great. 
Who wanted that? Masonry refers to Oda Nobunaga. Alright. National College. And then Settler. Holy crap. And then Settler. Because once again, you need to get the National College up pretty quickly. We'll go for, also go for drama and poetry as well. We might be able to start generating a few great artists and stuff. Because I always kind of go for a tourism as a backup now. When I, like If I do fail at a victory, I'm going for... We're not really... 100% aiming for a victory on this one. We're not going, yes, I'm going to win a science or something like that. We're sort of just playing generally, and then league game, we're going to decide which victory is best suited. Um, I'm not going to give you f as f five iron. Seven gold per turn, no less. Thank you. Alright, plus 39 gold per turn. Yeah. Actually, I don't even need to check if we have spare, do we? Because we can just trade it. Right, any spares? Luxuries at all? Nope. Nope. There's some copper. Have we already have copper? Alright. So once we get the National College up, I'm not I'm still not sure where to settle really. We could settle down there and grab that salt. Yeah, actually that'd be a nice place to settle. Only thing I'm worried about is the food being crap. We'll think about it. Once we get our settler. Actually, one thing I need to do. We need to start working on some soldiers soon. Because the Shoshone might get some ideas. Because they yeah, they already cover our lands. Alright. Caravan. You don't really need to go to Rotterdam anymore. So you can go to Almaty. Rotterdam can grow on its own. At a decent rate. Alright. Five tons. How are we doing, like... Science. Yeah. We're catching up. Aztecs are very far ahead. I reckon we'll catch up though. Once we get National College. Aztecs are doing very well this game. Really. They got a nice spawn. You got three nice cities set up. They got luxuries. Yeah, they're, they're going to be doing very well this game. I reckon. Well, I might actually want to get composite bowmen soon as well. Because that will help with our defences. Because we're probably not be going, be going to be going too aggressive in this game. Two turns. We're getting a city connection soon, which will boost up our gold even more. Like, we're only using one trade rune already on plus 44 per turn. We have a lot of spare gold left over. So if we do want to purchase anything, then we can always do that. Alright, next turn we're getting the National College. And then we'll work on our settler. Settling there won't be a bad idea either, because Rotterdam wants ivory. So, we've got to settle there. Alright. Truffles to Otto Nobunaga. We'll let him off for that. Um, Petra, actually. If we can get Petra in Rotterdam, Rotterdam can become a very powerful city. However, we are going to struggle on production to get it. Once we've got Parthen, I'm not really too worried about that, really. <laughs> Bam, around Cam Hang. He's got a lot of people attacking him. Surprised we aren't actually highest on happiness, but whatever. The AI always seems to be more higher than me. Should we just purchase the watermill? Let's just purchase the watermill to get the production up a bit. And then we'll go for a granary. Alright. We need Rotterdam to extend its borders to either here or here. I could probably just purchase it, actually. Once this turns over. I think we'll just purchase it. We may as well. Alright. So. Rotterdam. We'll buy the iron. And then we'll buy... That tile. And that tile. Alright, now Rotterdam might start working those tiles, but still, there is an option there now. Why is Rotterdam growing so slow? It's a good thing we're getting granary then. Oh yes, we're working that now. So, Rotterdam's getting quite a bit of production. It'll want to start working on Petra soon. Because Rotterdam's right in the thick of the desert. So it's going to need it. Alright, we'll send this archer down to protect the settler. 
We could settle there as well. I'm really not sure where I'm going to settle. Alright, where does it recommend? There. Does it recommend down there? No. Um, There. I'll send my warrior over there to explore what's there. We'll just keep this out there in the city just for this turn. Um, <sighs> Shall we purchase an archer, just another unit that we need? And ooh, build a writer's guild. Just to get great writers going. Even if we don't use them for the great works, we can use them for the culture. Right, that might not be a bad place to settle. If we move our guy there, we'll have a nice range and see what's there. Oh, great! A city-state right there. We haven't got enough of those. It would grow very quickly there, but that, we're not really getting any luxuries from it. That wouldn't be a bad place. However, the production's crap. This wouldn't be a bad place. The production's amazing, but we can chop down that jungle there. That wouldn't be a bad place. I don't know why it's not recommending that. I mean, you get the oasis for the food. Selling there wouldn't be a bad idea, but neither would there. Neither would there. Hmm. Might as well resettle there. Hmm. If you settle there, then how much will we be able to grab? Um, hmm, it's a very difficult decision. I I don't see why it's not recommending there. However, that, that city's already working, all the tiles. This place would be nice because it isn't too near the city. However, Biblos takes up a lot of tiles. This is why selling here would be able to work all the tiles, but the tiles aren't that good. Selling here wouldn't supply... Uh, Settling there will be a... I think we'll settle there. I think. Once again, we haven't exactly got the best options for settling. We'll go for Polder. However, that isn't a bad place at all. Right, how are we doing soldiers? We're not last. We have a Shoshone of the most soldiers, so we're going to want to start working on soldiers soon. Don't really care about that too much. Oh, so I am. Yeah, that probably isn't the best place to settle a city, to be honest. I mean, I know we aren't exactly settling in the best place, but still. It's a shame we could settle there, because I believe you grab the luxury if you have the tech to get it, which we do. I'm not too sure about that, though. And I'm not sure whether to risk it or not. Because I would like to settle next to there for the extra science. Yeah. I'm not I'm not sure whether it gives you anything extra. However, it would be pretty damn close to the city. I don't really think it's worth it. Not really worth the risk. Alright, you head back. You gone a lot. Um, two turns to the writer's guild in Amsterdam is now growing very quickly. I I'm not going to give you gold, sorry. Actually, we don't need to worry about too much about luxuries being around when we settle. So we could have settled there. However, we can always settle there in the future because we get so many... we get so much, um, just happiness anyway. So it wouldn't be too bad. We had to trade lots of rots, lots of sugar with Rotterdam. All right, settle down. And if we just yeah, I should have purchased a granary and then work on a shrine. Then Utrecht will grow very quickly. Um, we'll go for another caravan and send the caravan to Utrecht. We'll then build a few units and then see where it goes from there. Ah, great! That's lovely! Montezuma getting Terracotta Army? Great. He's still not even top on soldiers. That's slightly worrying. I can't show you any soldiers. Alright. Amsterdam still isn't growing that quickly. Which is kind of worrying, but not too worrying. I think we can live with it. 
I'm so annoyed about the about how much how many city states there are in Africa. There's one, two, three, four. F I guess that counter counts as a fifth. But still, it's pretty insane. Hmm. Again, caravan. Sexual policy will be able to finish, finish off tradition. Alright. You go to Utrecht. Utrecht will be going very quickly now. Yep, good. Uh, the policy, finish off tradition, now it help growth as well. Um, alright, let's begin working on units, mainly ranged. We'll work on three archers. I think that'll be sufficient. And we'll actually want to get our workers to build some polders around the place. Alright, we'll select this worker here. Medieval era. Relatively early on, which is good. Alright. Stop automation. You're going to want to want to work on some polders now. Um, we'll go for constructions. We can upgrade our archers. Rotterdam's going very nicely. Once again, production isn't the best. However, that will develop through time. All right, polders. Where can we build them? They can be built on floodplains and marsh. We haven't really got any marsh, however, there's a floodplain there. So it should be able to be built there. Another archer, that's n nice. We're getting composite bowmen in two turns. We should be moving up on soldiers now, because we're building quite a few archers. Soon to be composite bowmen. Now we should be able to build the polders here. However, I'm not sure whether we can or not. Alright, Petra. Production focus. 24 turns. It's going to take a while, however, I think it's going to be worth it. We could always send production to it with a caravan once it's, once the um, trade with the other city states finished. Alright, another archer. They can be upgraded now. Polders. Nice. Polder in the middle of the desert. That makes sense. But the polder is very, very good for growth. That's being worked by Rotterdam, right? It's a shame we can't get the polders within range of the capital, to be honest, but oh well. If we need to renew all those deals, we had loads of deals going on there. Can we just go... Oh no, he doesn't have any spares. Hello? Oh god! That was like a stress city straight away. You have citrus, trade for truffles. Uh, Kyoto, you have anything? No. Alright, we've done our trading. We'll go for optics. I have a feeling Rotterdam is actually going to end up being a bigger city than our capital. What? Does Montezuma really need the Great Wall? Montezuma is turning into a bit of a powerful sieve, and I'm getting a bit worried about them, really. I'm not gonna hide it. Right, as you can see, we got Nash we just got National College. We're second! 22%! Look! That is insane! We've all catch up, because we did rush a bit to tax, but still, that is very, very, very worrying. You upgrade. Alright, how are we doing? Soldiers now? Yeah, a lot better. That's good. I'm not sure whether we're going to get Petra or not, to be honest. Isn't it at economics when the polders provide gold and production? I believe it is. Alright, you go here. Boys of Amsterdam have grown, lovely. Give a horseback riding. Or, since we're getting so many gold needs, we could go for Chichen Itza. Hmm. What's the one way it improves the poll? Is it economics? Yes, it is. Alright. We're actually going to go for the workshop. Because that is very useful for production. It's sort of worrying how he got the Great Wall this early. I mean, come on. Which 
direct with fire. Nah, he can't get within range, can he? No. Right, he's going next turn. I'm not sure whether whether we're going to be able to grab Petra or not. Montezuma is grabbing most of the wonders. However, he isn't in um he isn't in the desert. Sweden could always grab it in this kind of city. However, I doubt it. Alright, great writer. I'm going to save him. I'd rather get a great work, to be honest, because I always want to have tourism as a backup victory. So, if we just purchase the amphitheatre, our skill can wait for a bit. We'll go for the market, because we want to get our gold up as high as possible. Amsterdam size 10. 10 out of 10, 11, yeah. We're, we're up with the big cities in the world now, which is good. Ah, oh, piss off. Did you even really need it that much? Not really. <sighs> that is a piss take. Alright. You can go for a market then. Yeah. Actually, I want to start churning out ships in Rotterdam soon. We're higher up on soldiers now. We're fourth. And I'd like to stay around that area. Yep, we'll take seven gold. We should, yeah, we should be able to create a great work now. And yes, the wonderful Wizard of Oz. Yes. Alright. How's everyone else doing tourism-wise? Anybody else really generating anything? Nope. The Aztecs are generating quite a bit. It's actually a great way to check how we're doing culturally, which isn't too bad at all. So I am. Nope. Shoshone. Nope. Sweden, no. So this is all the people really on the Eurasia plus Africa, which is us, continent. Oh, that's loads of food. How much even is that? If you hover over. Five food we're getting from that. That's pretty insane. Rotterdam will be a very nice city. Let's get another. Yeah. Rotterdam's going to be pretty insane growth, I'm not going to lie. And gold and production. Alright. I'd rather just have the gold, so seven gold per turn. Thank you. Gold per turn is pretty damn good for this kind of stage. If you check the other guys gold per turn, they're all hovering around zero actually. Engineering. No, don't go on, do nothing. Go alert. Caravan, you go to Bucharest. And you can fire on him. Fire on him. Alright. Oh, yay, Biblos like us. I don't really care, but okay, yay. Ah, they're giving two food to our capital, which is useful. Yeah, that'll actually help with our cultural influence. A bit. And I say a bit because we're probably not going to end up winning a tourism victory, but it's always there for backup. Plus, um, influencing other cities just gives generally gives bonuses as it is. I believe it makes trade routes a lot better. You can build a library. I believe, is Montezuma? Okay, yeah, we're definitely catching up with Montezuma. Because we got all the slightly less turns, less turns to take sort of um, tax, less important tax. Point your sticks. All right, so we're not too bad. Montezuma's the most. Well, we could definitely hold ourselves out. Yeah, I don't care who directly demand Wales. Oh well. Or oh, Machu Picchu. That'd be very nice. We'll take that. No point of really going on production focus. Because it only increases it by one turn. We're getting it relatively early anyway. But Machu Picchu would be very nice for gold. Let's actually do it again. Faith, gold, 25% 25% gold from city connections, and green merchant points. Yeah, that's good. You could definitely use that. It's getting built right there. Yeah, we'll keep the decoration of friendship going. We may as well. Rotterdam is just going to be insane growth because of the polders. Like. Polders are so ridiculously good. I really wish we could build them near Amsterdam. These don't count as floodplains, do they? 
No, it just counts as fresh water. It's disappointing. I wish we could. <laughs> Rotterdam's growth, it's ridiculous. But it does make the desert tiles a lot more useful. I will say that. Yep, I'll take that. Our cities are actually going very quickly. We're going to be towards the top of population, which will help with science. So once again, I reckon a science victory might actually be alright to go for. Um, Polder, yeah. Rotterdam has adopted a religion. Yes, ours. What was our one? No, it's not ours, actually. We don't have a religion at the moment. Damn. We'll be getting one soon. With our plus 12 faith. Wait, how are we suddenly earning plus 12? What was our... Oh yeah, we got plus 1 faith in desert tiles. That's why. Alright, let's take down all these barbarians. I'm wondering... Yeah, the barbarians, must be, the barbarians must be coming from that camp there. We want to work on taking that down soon. It's a good thing we have iron. I usually don't actually have iron whenever I play a Civ game. I usually don't really have that much. It's good to have iron so we can build the swordsman. Do we have the tech to build swordsman? Yes, we do. Nope. Upgrade. Alright. You stand a lot. Next turn. Yeah, Rotterdam is definitely going to overtake our capital. I mean, our capital got hanging gardens, but still. It's got crap production, I will say that. However, it's just so, such insane growth because of the polders. Plus, at economics, the polders will provide production. So this is turning into a very, very nice naval base. Very, very nice indeed. We're doing relatively well. Um... Once again, not very often I say that in Civ games. We did particularly, we did pretty well in our Brazil one, and we stepped up the difficulty, and it appears to really have not that much effect. Really, 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 it makes it slightly more challenging, but still doesn't make it ridiculously challenging. All right, we'll go for which one should we go for? Let's go for this one because the stuff, the, the um sign looks cool. Um, plus one gold for every four followers. That'd be very nice. And, yes, go for the growth. Wait, we didn't choose the pantheon that gives us faith from things, did we? No, I don't think we did. Or is it Buddhism that supplies Yeah, Buddhism supplies that, which is good. Pulls back riding, there's what grabbed that. So, Buddhism actually helped us get our own religion, so thank you, Buddhism. Thank you very much. Ah, oh, polders, they're so good. So good. It's not very often you get five food from a desert tile. Come on, aesthetics. I think we'll go for... Aesthetics for now, but we definitely will be around with commerce soon. Definitely. Okay, what should we go for here? Let's put an amphitheater to get our culture up. Because once again, the reason why I'm going for aesthetics is because I do want my cultural, vic cultural victory as a backup. Since I'm a lot better at it than I used to be. Because I used to be pretty crap at it, to be honest. Getting loads of food into Rotterdam. Yeah, 15.4 food it's getting. What's not riding? Yeah, Rotterdam is just drowning in food. More polders. So many galleys coming across here. It's not really too much of a problem. However, it is pretty annoying. Um, let's go for education. We we want to, We we really need to catch up with Aztecs. We are, but still, we need more. <laughs> no surprise, we're top on crop yield. Is for certain polder. Hmm. All right, copper. Yeah, they not do nothing. Not do nothing. Not do nothing. No, nope, not. What am I doing? Wake. 
a lot. I want to get the amphitheater up because we're going to be getting another great writer soon. Yeah, that'll do. Because the open boards will help our cultural influence. We're already 3.7 with Sweden. Sweden's um, culture isn't that high at all. Which I suppose is a good thing. Yeah. All of that, thank you very much. Gustavus Adolphus has declared a war on Otto Nobunaga. No, I wasn't expecting that. Not one bit. I hope the show should only keep to themselves, really. I hope they don't decide, you know what, the Netherlands are powerful. Let's go try and take them down. And steal all their shit. I hope that isn't what happens. Alright. Machu Picchu. Gold is flowing. Um, I might rename Rotterdam to Polderland, because there's lots of polders. Anyway, um, this is the end of this episode of my Netherlands playthrough. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Be sure to like, subscribe, share with your friends, add to your favourites, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.